Hi everyone, welcome to another 15 plus 10 ICC game. We got um Genuine Rio. Genuine Rio. From Brazil, we're at 1254. We played the Scandinavian, so we're gonna follow the known theoretical lines. Develop my knight, it's like his queen. Gain a tempo. Um it's one of the more tricky lines I think. What was I supposed to do here? I think I have to play kind of just d4 straight away in this position. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think b4 is a move here. So it would be disastrous to lose to, to this user. His rating is not not great. <clears throat> I think I can play things like knight to b5 now, attacking his queen again. And that's probably what I should do. Let's do this. I know that I'm losing a tempo, moving a piece twice, but attacking c7 I believe is important in this line. So we're gonna do that. We need um this force to move his queen. There we go. <clears throat> now I believe I can play knight to f4. Attacking c7 again, and if he brings, he has to play knight to d5. Then, um, I had, I had this line in a, in a tournament recently, I think. Anyway, he's playing well for his rating, for sure. Check. Um, what's the idea? I mean, c7 is in big trouble now, isn't it? I mean, he has to play knight to a6. Should I play bishop e2? Knight e2. Queen. <clears throat> I want to keep the queens against his rating. If he was higher rated, I would be tempted to change queens here. But um, I think I'm gonna. I can't block with a knight. I want my bishop on c4. If he plays knight to d5. I'm gonna play bishop up here. Yeah, he has to be careful. Just checking how many games he's played. So he has played a total of. 1765 games. That's a lot. <clears throat> he's finally thinking. I think he should have thought before getting into this lineup. I don't see anything good happening for him. I mean, his queen is being attacked now. He has to play knight to d5, right? And then I'm going to bring a bishop back. Yeah, I could just win the pawn perhaps. But I thought it needs to be calculated. Or maybe it's not ambitious enough. I mean, he has to play knight to d5. D I could play bishop back and then play c4. 
maybe. You can also play knight to a6, I suppose. But that's probably not as good because I know I can win the the pawn without without being scared of a6. So, right. So if he's lands on d5 and I win the pawn, he can play a6, and it might get a bit tricky. Because he gets an open file, like retro pieces. Um, well, he's resigned. That's boring. So let's find another game. Hopefully, we get one quickly. I appreciate a challenge. Ah, yes, we got somebody quickly. Jabba, rated 1648. Let's see what Java does. I'm gonna play um King's Pawn opening, e4, e5. This is standard. <clears throat> he attacks my pawn, I defend my pawn. Then he can play bishop to c4, bishop to b5, and play b4, bishop to c4. So I'm going to play bishop to c5 and we're going to get a Yoko Piano Italian game. I play this as white. Well. So I think I'm following the moves correctly. Attack e4. Um, okay, so here I know that I'm supposed to take. And I'm going to stop for a second, but I'm pretty sure I have to take. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, he takes back. I can play bishop before check. So black is supposed to be completely fine in this line. Because I'm going to win e4. Black, uh, white was meant to play the theater. I think it is playable as well, but I'm pretty sure this is better for black than a slow approach. <coughs> Maybe he didn't think I could take there. Maybe he thought I had to back my bishop up because he's thinking. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen that before. Oh, oops. Right. <clears throat> Why is that bad? Okay, um, I think I could probably play B five here. Instead of playing knight to e4, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play d5. I'm not. I'm not sure, but it looks like one of those positions where d5 is a move, and I, I don't think I could calculate it in under 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pretend that this is right and just hope that it is. Okay, so now, now I can play knight e4, my knight defended. <coughs> so I think I'm gonna go for that. I don't see any downsides. Okay. 
<clears throat> my guy, I'll just take my cancer because my knight attacks. Yeah, all the keys. So, check. Bishop, yeah, check. Hoping to win his like uh, his dark square bishop. <clears throat> so if he defends with a knight, I don't really want to take my knight to b2, but I think his knight is not really placed that well. I'm looking at bishop to g4 now, having two castles. I don't see them having many problems. Having a white castle, I am attacking b4. I might, I might do that bishop to g4. Let's play this. Because now, now if I take his knight. He can't take back with a knight, and I can ruin his pawn structure here. That could be significant if he castles now. So what I'm saying is, if he castles um, and I take the knight on b2, he has to take back with a bishop. I take the bishop, he has to take with the queen, then I take the knight, and then his king is exposed. Then I can play a queen to h4 or something and try to exploit that. I mean, I could also just take his knight first. Hmm. If I take his knight first, he takes has to take back with a pawn because otherwise he loses a piece. So he takes back with a pawn. I then get queen to g5 check. And then hopefully I'm winning a piece. That looks good. If he, I don't think castling is a good move for him. Um, he probably has to play like I don't know. It looks difficult for him to be honest. Um, where did he go wrong? Maybe you know, pushing five. He's actually given me a few tempos on him because it looks like my developments. Is ahead of his. Um, his knight on b2 is, is in great as far as I can see. Whereas my knight on e4 is great, which is very, very aggressive. And his spin on b5 doesn't bother me because I just take 5 towards the center, it should be okay. I don't care if my c pawns are doubled as much as he would care if his f pawns, f and g pawns, became doubled. That would be much more dangerous for this game. That's what I'm thinking. Um, let's see what he does. I mean, regardless of what happens, it just kind of feels like Black has succeeded in 
and doing what he wants, um, which is, you know, it's good. You can't ask for more, can you? Maybe he's seen the, the, the threat that I'm gonna execute on his, on his king side, which is what he's thinking. Um, I would think most players at this level would just castle here, so. So it's good, good on him for thinking. I mean, if he plays h3, I can still do the same guy. Just take the knight first. Then he has to take the pawn. Then he hasn't castled yet, so that, that's decent for him. So maybe h3 is his best, best shot. <coughs> to force me to execute. Okay, he moves away with the queen. That is interesting. He's attacking my bishop. So what I'm thinking now is taking his knight. Could be it. I might be taking, actually maybe taking the knight on um, on d2, is that better? Okay, so, or taking the knight on d2 and the bishop would be good. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think, huh? Maybe I should just play something like like e5, supporting my undefended bishop. His knight on d2 can't move. And then just force him to to make a move. I mean I could probably win. If I castle, castling could be decent, no. <clears throat> if I take his... Maybe castle, taking his knight and then castling could be good. No, because he's playing back with a pawn. I'm not really getting anything. I get an attack on d4, but he can just take my knight and have to take back. There is nothing going on there. I mean, he can st still can castle because I would win a piece, but he probably see that. And I'm left with nothing. When he takes back with a pawn, I need to move my e knight. So, my e4 knight. Hmm. A5. The castles. Or just take. I don't like taking, especially not on D2. Because you can say back with the knight. So if I take, it has to be on F3, I think. But anyway, if he takes with the. If he takes with the. Pawn, I can take his knight then, and he takes with the bishop, I take the bishop, his king is stuck in the middle. That could be good. If he takes with the queen, I can just castle, because he can't. And that tempo might be good for me. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take... It's more active, but if he takes back, and I take the bishop, he takes my dark square bishop. That's probably okay for me. I win a pawn. And his king is a bit awkward. I'm gonna do this. Can't waste too much more time, can I? So, <clears throat> I 
I could play queen. If he takes the queen, maybe I can play queen to g5. And he looks like he's defending. So I might win g2 in that case. He has so many recapturing possibilities that I'm not really even gonna try using my energy to figure out what he's gonna do. I kinda know what I'm gonna do if he takes with a G pawn or if he takes with a queen, which I see as he's too many moves, but he could also play bishop takes in C6. Um, well, actually, I think I've calculated a lot of those variations, so. Okay, he does take with a queen, so. I was thinking for this move I can either castle or I can play queen to g5. I think castle is my best. Mm, I could also castle queen side. Maybe. Yeah, queen. Queen to g5 gives me two options. How, how does he defend queen to g5? I mean, his only move almost seems like queen to d3, at which point I can just take him g2. Maybe queen to g5 is better, it's more aggressive. I don't think he's gonna fall for castles, castles. So let's play this. I have to try and stay ahead in the clock, I think that's really important. I have to remember that. If I fall too far behind the clock in any time control, I usually end up in trouble. Despite whether my position was good at any point or not. So, so it's good that I settled on something and, and I played it. Queen to e3, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take g2. Just take away his castle impossibility. With this queen to 3 I'm obviously not taking the queen, that would be terrible. <clears throat> the way I see it is, he plays queen to 3 or queen to 2 I take g2, and he has to play rook to, to e1. If we were to move his queen to like g3 or something, I can just take take on d2 with check for my bishop, and yeah, then he goes in a piece. And he's thinking again, I'm getting a nice time advantage that I can hopefully keep when he's convert to a win. <coughs> Let's see.
I definitely would like to get better verse at the art of attacking and keeping the initiative going. Which is what I'm trying to do today, but like, I could do that in every single one of my games and not do it passively. I think that would give great results. So that's one of the things I'm going to try and do in the near future. We can replace that. And um, we did look at this, so I think, okay, I can just take that. I can also win h2. He's gonna have real trouble with the, like developing actually. I mean, he can play um, a3, I suppose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win h2. I'm just gonna go for it. Um, John Bertolomeu. Guess we can get all the points we can get right and any defense, so let's do that. <laughs> Is it worth it? I don't see how it's immediately failing for anything. So let's do it. Keep two points up. This game is stuck in the middle. Yeah, I, th I thought he would do something with this and try and break the pin on his knight. Um, so now the question is what's my best move? What about Bishop back when he wins my knight? Why do I take his knight? He takes with the bishop. I could, I could, um, that could be okay. I could take with the bishop as well. I was also thinking bishop back here, but. Simplifications are probably good for me right now because I'm two points out. Check. I'm gonna go for it. Do I keep this knight? Uh, maybe I should keep this knight. Yeah, his bishop is actually not a great piece. He can't go long now though. His pawns are on dark squares, my knight is a pretty good piece. Um, he can't kick my knight out with um, F3 though. And he has the bishop there right now. So I'm gonna take this. I'm thinking queen to h5 to stop him from castling. And if he moves his bishop back, I, I can, I can kind of. Queen to h5, you know, his, his queen, he's not. Yeah, I'm gonna play queen, queen here. It looks fine. I lost some of my time advantage, but hopefully, after it looks like this, um, I can get, get it back. My king is still pretty safe in the middle. I'm at two pawns, so I have to remember that, which is why I took that bishop. <clears throat> Any place like f3 or bishop back to e2, I'm gonna play, I think, queen to, to f5. Or queen to queen to g six actually. Mm. 
Adesso ancora. Ok. That's interesting. Ok, so he's stopping me from casting it. But I don't really need to castle as much as he does right now. I'm thinking like queen to f3 now could be good. I'm still stopping him from castling and I can play maybe queen to f4. That could be annoying for him. Let's go for this. Maybe I can push my h5 pawn really quickly at all. I'm still not scared of him taking. Maybe if he gets his rook onto the c file, I could admit to being a little bit scared. But probably not. Because, um, probably gonna play queen to e4 check. I think I'm gonna do that here. Um, I'm not sure what his purpose there is. I can't change queens now. That's what I wanna go for. Yeah. It's, oh, no, hold on a second. Because my king is in castles. If I were to check him on e4 and take the pawn, my queen is hanging. But if he moves his king, then I've already won a little bit. If he moves his king, I can just... I can... I can see what he's trying to do. I can just castle queenside, I mean, it's not a big deal. Maybe there's a little bit. <clears throat> I don't have time, so let's play this. Check. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just in the castle queen side, can't be that bad. I do lose another pawn. Then my king counts to d7 and he can be safe, isn't he? Very interesting. I could play king to d7 maybe. And then just rook, rook to c1 and he's fine. Yeah. I messed this up, can I? Come on. Hmm. Let me just get his king out of there. Ah. Uh, let's pass it this way. What can we do? If I can trade queens, I'm completely fine. I'm still winning. So that's why he should probably take on a7. Alright, uh, probably were some better moves over there, but time pressure is getting to me now. 
Just three minutes, 48 seconds left. Um, let's play some decent moves after going down. Okay. Um, I might play queen to f4 check just so he doesn't get to play f4. Check. Also, I'm attacking f2 this way, so he can't really move that rook. My king can always go back to d7. That's why I wasn't too bothered about that. Okay, he's going up there, protecting f2, that's good. Um, I'm going to repeat moves quickly. I'll just play this, h5. Let's go for it. My queen is defending c1 as well. No, that was a very useful move if I look at it that way. Um, queen a4, maybe just king d7. Queen to a6 check, definitely king d7. I'm only a pawn up now, but this, this pawn is very powerful the way things stand. Like I said, my king can. Okay, so he moved his king again. Um, he didn't like something. What exactly? I'm not sure. Well, what's his plan with this? Ah, he wants to. He wants to get king to c1 and. Let's just Check. quickly about him a little bit. Check. Check. It's repeating the move twice. I'm not gonna give him a draw. You don't want to lift my rook to h6. That sounds good. Defending c6. My rook on d8 could become undefended. The idea behind checking him a few times, repeating the move, is to give him um, some false hope then went out for a draw and to see where he stands he obviously was going to take the draw i wasn't had i just repeated the queen move one more time he would have had the draw so <clears throat> it's a bit of teasing going on psychological warfare in a way so i think the rook on h6 is very useful because it's also going to control c6 in case he has any tricks i don't like that he can play f4 but I do have at least queen to g2 check then, so it's not too bad. I might just keep pushing my pawn now. Can I just keep pushing the h1? <clears throat> Let's try that.
know, he's running long time. I still have three minutes. That's a good advantage to take into the last stage of the game. Of course, there's a 10 second increment. But the pressure is definitely on now. Uh, I might just have to just keep trying to make decent moves and not, not blunders, keep everything protected. Obviously, this game is more for back. I think, I mean, the computer hopefully will say the same thing. And now my king is a bit exposed, but none of his checks or anything look, look good, so. He probably should play rook to h1 now, in my opinion, just so that my pawn doesn't get to h2. Maybe can double up on that file or something to stop that from happening. Okay, that's probably a decent move. Is he gonna try and double up? Can I just keep pushing the pawn? I'm going to keep pushing my phone, let's do it. I got a second queen, but he got a checkmate in attack. <clears throat> I can always bring my queen back actually, so I need king here first. Let's play king here. My queen can always go back to g6 to help defend. Uh, now I get king here, ch king here check. I kind of like that. Check. Just win some more pawns. Um. Ooh. I got another check here. Check. I was thinking just, oh, okay, okay, that helps. <clears throat> Let's think. Let's not mess this up. Let's give him another check. Check. Let's give him an opportunity to go wrong. Also, now the e file is open for my rooks. I can even, like, if he plays back to the e file, I can check for my rook here. Okay, so now C, the C file is defended. And I can go and get another queen maybe. I can change queens as well. I'm gonna go for that. Check. And bring my queen back to, to B6. Oh, great. Check. Thank you. That's even more helpful. Now he can just resign. Just a complete loss. I'm gonna push my H phone, my GIF phone. <laughs> it's too much. <clears throat> really? You're gonna keep playing? How good? 
Um, Let's work here. Yeah, he resigns. Okay, that's a decent game. Let's try and analyze games. First, the one against the January 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 year. I can't I, I can't even pronounce it in Portuguese. January January. Uh, I think it means uh, January, but yeah. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> So B4 is fine here, and um, oops, let's go back a bit. And knight, knight F3 suggested, but I play this, it looks okay. Queen B8 is his best move apparently. Um, knight F3 is a good move for me, uh, instead I play this straight away. Check. Knight B5. Maybe I should just play my knight first, because that seems to take away some of my advantage. Check. If I play check, and that's, that's not good for him. This should be two blocks, and now 96 is his best move. But evidently, he um, couldn't find that, and that's why he disconnected. And he plays knight here. Oh, c4 is just crushing a bit. Why? Oh, yeah, because he can't take my bishop. That's a good point. So that's why he quit. I mean, he should have just played it, because I haven't, haven't really seen c4. I did think of c4, but I thought of it after moving my bishop. But actually, he can't take my bishop because he put his queen in such a horrible square that I would be winning with knight to c7 check. So if you were to do this, check. Um, after this, with his queen, oops, check. There's my knight, and yeah, this is winning for white. And that's why he quit. Although if he had played knight to a6, which is a hard move to see unless you know it, and I have seen it before, that's why I know it. Then I'm just putting a pawn, and I wasn't sure whether I should do this. I mean, I actually was going to do this because he can't push me away with a6. So, the thing to learn from this game is, like, knight to d5 here isn't as dangerous as it would be if the queen was back on d8. Or somewhere else, anywhere else, a6, I don't know, d5. Because here, my bishop is immune. And I win a piece. I mean, after this, his best move is still knight to a6, and I can just take. Knight to the takes, um, yeah, this looks great. Half a piece. Right, so that's why, um, Genoide uh, quit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, now let's look at this game. Which brought me up to 1699, by the way, so hopefully I can stay above 1700 soon. Uh, let's look at it. I'm black. Can I flip this? I think I can flip this somehow. There we go. Before the five Italian game. So D4 is actually okay now D3 is preferred by the computer. And he played D4, which doesn't look that bad. It's a bit worse than D3 apparently. Takes is a correct move and E5 is a move. And yeah, D5 is correct, yeah. The reason I wasn't sure about d5 is because I had a similar position recently when I'm over the board game. And I played d5 one move too quickly and I got into so much trouble. But this one looked, looked right here. Yeah. So that's why I went for it. So now we're equal. Check. This should be 6. This should be 6. Which is this should back. Okay. Check. That's probably better, but I did this and kind of got, got from annoyed there. And, and this is where I got my time advantage by playing my bishop out here and playing him. So yeah, castles is suggest. I thought I thought for a while here. Castles I thought about. I thought about taking. I thought about a5. a5 would be suggested. Bishop e7, such as bishop back. That's one of the suggestions. <coughs> Let's see what I did. I took. Okay, so. Why actually get some advantage out of this by taking on b4? Bishop to g4. Why can't I take?
Yeah, this just doesn't look great, does it? <clears throat> one gets quite a large advantage here, so I shouldn't have taken. That's a bad move. A5, I thought of A5, I'm glad to see it's showing here. Yeah, I didn't want to go back on my bishop, so A5, A3, and bishop takes and Check. Knight takes. Castles. This is messy. How about this? It's equal apparently, but I'm not too happy with it. Um, what was the call of bishops? Yeah, taking on f3 wasn't good. I thought it could be okay because I attacked his rook. <coughs> but actually, he gets more than enough. I should protect my bishop or bring it back. So bishop to 7 queen e3. Oh, that's d3. It doesn't look great. Why is it equal? Because I'm castles. Check. Mm. Right, well, I did this. And he took with a queen. And queen g5 is what I played, so that's great. <laughs> At least I followed up correctly. And here I had an advantage because I won two pawns. Castles is better for me here. Instead, I took another pawn. Check. Okay. Yeah, so here I was thinking about not taking this bishop. And I knew it didn't take. The reason I took it is because I wanted to get some endgame um, based on our time and the fact that I had two more pawns. I didn't foresee how much problem this queen was going to give, give me on the side of the board. It wasn't that bad though, I mean. To keep my advantage, though, I do have to play, keep that knight, so a6 is better. Check. And then just, oh, castle's queenside still, wow. Okay, well, yeah, I knew that bishop wasn't a great piece, but I took it, okay, so the game is equal now. If he takes it with the king, funny enough, he takes it with the queen, and I still have an advantage. Queen h4. Oh, okay, well. Rook C1, huh? <laughs> Check. Yeah, so castling wasn't that bad, I still have an advantage. <clears throat> Check. Queen 7 is already being suggested, but I figured Check. I have time. Check. Check. So I just did this for you know, a little bit of annoyance, kind of. I'm glad to see that my moves are accurate so far. My advantage is getting larger and larger as my opponent is getting closer and closer to the queen square. Queen f4 check is good here, but I played this, it looks okay. Oh, and now he is losing, but yeah, I mean, he had very little time here now, you see, he's got under 20 seconds. And this allowed me to get some bonds. Check. Perhaps not the best moves, check. but they're all still good moves, as you can see, I'm almost a queen up. Um, check. So I thought that if he came here, I would just play this anyway. Yeah, it looks okay. His best move is to take my queen, and then the game's over. Check. Okay. Well, that was a decent end game by me, and a decent game. 16 99. Goal is 1800, of course, at least. Um, I don't see why not. Just need to find myself a bit more. Alright. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.